top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail. Yo guys, what's going on? Tim here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make thumbnails like me on YouTube. A lot of you guys have actually been asking me um, how I make my thumbnails um, with the electric and stuff. Um, so I'll just show you guys how to do it in today's video. I'll put the uh, images that I use in this uh, tutorial down below in the description so you guys can download it and do it yourself. And yeah, it's very easy and simple to do and it looks really cool at the same time. So yeah, with that all being said, if we uh, can we break 100 likes, likes on this video guys that would be amazing subscribe if you are new turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos also follow me on instagram timpers creations um, there'll be a, a thing on the screen now um, and also on twitter at timpers hd uh, just follow me there guys i'm always tweeting out on there uh, and just you know you guys can just keep up to date with the stuff that i do and yeah let's just get straight on into the video right guys so we are here in photoshop so the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got an image of yourself in the thumbnail so um, yeah you'll just want to increase the size of it this is the one that I'm going to be using I don't I, I guess you don't really have to have a picture of yourself but it does work better when you've got a picture of yourself so the first thing we're going to do is just add a new layer and around the outside we're just going to add some shadow like so and just decrease the opacity to about 30 percent then add a new layer and at the top add a spot of white like so and just decrease the opacity of that and then we're going to add some color corrections so you just want to go to brightness and contrast bring the brightness down a bit and the contrast up and then go to color curves and then press here and then down here and then go to exposure bring the exposure up bring the offset up and then bring the gamma correction up and then finally go to color balance and whichever color you want the thumbnail to be so say if you want a blue thumbnail you'll bring it over to cyan uh, maybe magenta and blue of course and then once you've done that just group everything we've just done together with Control G and as you can see it just makes it look a lot better so the next thing we're going to do is go to place embed and this is where you guys want to download what's in the description the electric and the first thing we're going to do is use this one, rasterize it, and then set the blend mode to either color dodge screen or light. And each one looks really good. Um, I think I'm going to stick with screen. And then you just basically want to rub away um, so you can see your face again. So just erase anything that's over the top of your face, like so nice and easy um, and then what we're going to do is bring the color corrections above everything else so yeah you want to make sure the color corrections is just right at the very top and then you want to go to the brush again and choose um, the color you've been using so I'm going to be choosing blue and we're just going to click um, over here and we're going to click over there as well on the side and set that to color dodge and as you can see it makes everything pop a lot more and then we're going to go to place embedded and we're going to add some more electric so you can use whichever one you want I think I'm going to go with this one right here and we're going to just rasterize that and you want to set that to color dodge and we're just going to rotate it a bit and I'm going to put it down here and as you can see, if you zoom in, you can see a little box around the outside and you just want to erase that. Um, and then as well, place embedded. And I'm just going to use this one right here, just a straight line, rasterize it, color dodge. And I'm going to change this color of this one to maybe a bit darker, something like that. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to put it over here like so and yeah already it's looking really cool um, so the next thing we're gonna do is you can add some more color corrections but I'm gonna do that after I've done this I'm gonna add some text and the text I'm gonna be using is uranium I did a video the other day of uh, my best fonts so 
Uh, make sure you check that out if you want to see some good fonts. Um, and this is one of them. Um, I'm just going to put tutorial. Decrease the size of it, one sec. Something like that. And obviously you want to change the colour of it. Ro maybe rotate it a bit. But yeah, slanted fonts look really good with this um, style. I'm actually going to change the colour of it to white. And then double click on the layer, go to gradient overlay. Uh, bring down the opacity to about 30% and then add an inner glow as well. Add a stroke and you want to make sure that it's black. And I'd say the size, make it about six. And then you wanna rasterize the layer style. Double click on it again, I'm gonna add one more stroke, but we're gonna make this one white. Like so, and it looks really cool already. And then I'm just gonna bring it below the electric that we did and also the color blue on the side. And I'm gonna rub away this electric part so it's behind the text. And as you can see, it looks really cool. Um, and now above everything else, I'm gonna add a new layer. Go to white. And at the top, I'm just gonna add a spot of white, like so. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna click a spot of white and change it to overlay. And you can also click on like the text and like so, maybe a spot over there. And then finally, we're gonna add some more color corrections, but you can either add some more yourself or you can just press Ctrl J and duplicate the ones we've already got and then bring it above everything else. And then just bring down the opacity of it a little bit. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once you've finished, guys, you can also change the color of it with hue and saturation, like so. Obviously it changes the colour of your face as well, but you can also make your face um, black and white and that still looks all okay. So if you just go to saturation, bring it down all the way um, and you're in black and white and then you can just change the colour of it, everything else. That still looks pretty cool, but personally I like having the colour on my face. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more tutorials like this on the channel, let me know. Also, let me know down below what videos you'd like to see from me next. Uh, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Um, and make sure you follow me on Instagram, Timpus Creations, Twitter, uh, Timpus HD. Also guys, I'm accepting orders for graphics. So if you want to purchase any designs like a YouTube banner, thumbnail, header, logo, overlay, stream overlays, anything like that, um, then just uh, message me down below or message me on Twitter and I'll read it guys and I'll get back to you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video.